Combs was raised Catholic. And he served and he served as an altar boy and he had graduated from Mount St. Michael Academy. And it was an all boys Catholic school. Now, th- what I read earlier was that he was born uh, po- in poverty, so I don't know how he, unless he got some kind of grant or what, I don't know. I, I assume that you'd have to pay to go to this type of school. So he graduated from this school in 1987. He had played football for the academy, and his team won a division title in '86. And uh, Combs said he was given the nickname Puff as a child because he would huff and puff when he was angry. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is the connection with, with the Catholic school. So this morning I got on, and I thought about this last night. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to look up his school. I'm going to see if there was any legal action or allegations against the school he attended at the time that he was there or in that 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 time frame i mean it's a high school so or were there anybody else there i i'm not sure i am not sure but it's an interesting connection and uh let's find out Okay, with a little digging, I found this article. Like I said, I was uh, thinking about it, and, you know, things happen to people usually, I mean, not always, but people who are abused sometimes grow up and become abusers themselves. So I found this article, and it's uh, celebrated LGBT priest Bernard J. Lynch abused Bronx Catholic school students in a lawsuit. Now, this was published on uh, November 20th, 2019. Okay. A Pennsylvania man claims that a, a gay Irish priest who is celebrated for his work advocating for LGBT and AIDS cases of abused him 40 years ago at a Bronx Catholic high school, according to a new lawsuit. Guys, this is the same school P. Diddy went to. Remember, he graduated in 87. It's a high school for boys. A 57-year-old who filed this court, who filed the court papers anonymously, says he was 16 when campus chaplain Bernard J. Lynch sexually abused him after Christian club meetings at Mount St. Michael Academy in the Bronx in 1978 and 1979. A lawsuit filed in Manhattan Supreme Court on Wednesday, which was, guys, this was back in 2019. The accuser brought the case against the archdiocese, the high school, and several other religious orders for neglectedly failing to look into why Lynch had frequently transfers between assignments, the court paper says. The suit claims the school should have warned the teen's family about Lynch. Defendants further breached their duties by hiding a pedophile and engaging in a cover-up of abuse perpetrated by uh, Bernard Lentz, the court documents charged, which we knew this. uh, This had been the case years ago when all of the priest stuff came out. They had been shifting people all over that they knew about all of this. And it wasn't just this Fernand guy. Bernard Lynch guy. There were other priests who were uh, charged and indicted after years when these other bo- uh, other people came forward. The alleged victim has filed the suit in the wake of the of the Child Victims Act that went into effect in August, which allows people who were abused as kids to bring claims that have already passed outside the statute of limitation, which is a good thing. Lynch, who married his partner. Billy Desmond, in 2017, was acquitted in Bronx Court in 1989 of sexually abusing a different teen at the same school. Okay. So, this guy was there. This guy was there when uh, 
P. Diddy was at the school. The 72-year-old priest who has lived in London since 92 spent a decade volunteering on a New York HIV-AIDS task force and was the only Catholic priest to testify to city council before the body passed LGBT civil rights legislation in 89, according to the Irish Times. He is set to be given the Distinguished Service Awards for Charitable Work by Irish uh, President Michael Higgins on Thursday, the outlet reported. The accuser's lawyer, Patrick Noker, said his client is very brave to take this action so that others can be spared the sexual abuse that he endured. He hopes that children and their parents will not be intoxicated by Lynch's big personality and public recognition and instead protect themselves from sexual abuse, Noker said. The president and CEO of Mount St. Michael Academy, Peter Cortelli, told the Post, back then and now, we have zero tolerance for that type of behavior. Once we see the, the filing, we will investigate to the fullest of our ability. Lynch did not immediately return email requests for comment. A rep for the New York Archdiocese declined to comment. So, I just found this interesting that you have these these horrific allegations by P. Diddy abusing boys and girls. And it it's so much that I'm just gonna say it. That there's probably some lividity to it. It's just it's just so overwhelming. I know everybody's going to cover this. If this goes to trial, it's going to be huge. It's going to be, this is probably going to be bigger than OJ. Bigger than Johnny Depp, Amber Heard. It's going to be big. Because there's so many other people implicated in, in this. But, guys, I don't know if there's a connection but I don't think it's too far-fetched. P. Diddy went to this school. He graduated in 87 in the Bronx, all boys high school. This guy was there. This, this, this Bernard guy, Lynch, was there at the time. Now, would could he come out and look? We know a lot of people use their defense on now obviously the things that he's being allegedly charged with it's indefensible but he could say you know hey i'm sorry and people might have sympathy for him if he was abused by some priests at this school or by bernard lynch himself i don't know i don't know if it's true i am just pointing out Combs was at the school at the same time that this priest was there. He had went to court and was uh, found not guilty from an, another case. And then this boy, boom, this other victim comes out against him. But hey, we will, we will soon find out. I guess if he if he ever came clean and said, "Yeah, they did this to me," I don't know. This is this is just speculation. I'm not saying I'm not saying this happened. I am saying there's a coincidence, or is it a coincidence that Bernard was there at the same time P. Diddy was there, and you decide. While working on this video, I'm finding more more stuff so this is getting added to so <laughs> it's a work in progress this is lynch okay he was ordained in 1971 uh lynch and marxist brother timothy brady were accused in 1987 in the abuse of boys at mount st michael academy in the bronx lynch 
was the school's chaplain. Brady was the acting principal. Lynch returned to Ireland when the investigation began, indicted in 1988. Brady was convicted. Lynch was tried in 89 on charges he fondled one former Mount St. Michael's uh, student. Lynch's lawyer said it was the boy who made a pass at him. Lynch claimed he was the subject of a winch hunt because of his AIDS ministry. Um, and he was found not guilty. Okay, he was found not guilty. Moved to London in 92, started ministry for closet gay priests. Um, ordered, explained him in 1111, not laicized. Lynch announced in 2012 memorial he married a man 14 years earlier. In 2017, working as a counselor and spiritual director in London, Lawsuit 919 claiming abuse of another boy, age 16, which is that's the one we covered in the Bronx from 78 to 79. Reportedly in 921, the lawsuit was dropped. So the, the lawsuit was dropped against him for that. But guys, look at this time frame here. Look at this time frame. And the principal was he was convicted. I just found it interesting. I just found it interesting. You decide. This is from Horowitz uh, Law Firm. They represented the, or they still do, I'm sure, uh, represent people who are allegedly abused by these priests. Timothy Brady, Archdiocese of New York. This is Horowitz, July 11, 2020. Brother Timothy Brady, Archdiocese of New York and Marxist. Uh, this is Assignment History from 84 to 87, Mount Sinai Michael Academy in Bronx, New York. Uh, 93 to 05, Marcus High School, Chicago. This is the summary of the abuse allegations against Brother Timothy Brady. In 1988, B.R. Timothy Brady, a Marxist brother, was arrested, charged, and sentenced to prison for the alleged sexual abuse of three minor boys at Mount St. Michael Academy in the Bronx, New York, in 1987. Brady was the acting principal of the preparatory school at the time of the alleged abuse. Brady allegedly left the school at the end of the 1987 school year and was sent to Marxist retreat in Arizona. According to media reports, the alleged abuse was reported by the school staff members who saw a few lay teachers complained that they thought something was going on. The sexual exploit Exploited Child Task Force, an operation coordinated by the FBI and New York City Police Department, determined that two priests had sexually molested three 14-year-old boys. Brady became a Marxist brother in 64. As of 2010, Brady was still listed as Marxist in Brother on the Order's website. His whereabouts and whether he has access to children are unknown. He was last known to be residing in Arizona. And this is Horace's law firm, firm if uh, representing victims and survivors of abuse by Catholic priests and other clergy in the Archdiocese of New York. And if you need a lawyer because you were abused by a priest or other Catholic clergy in New York State, contact our official, official, Today, you need to contact them, their official website. Contact it today. I'm looking up here on this this other one because it's 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 much larger print for for me to read. 
And all, although many years had passed, though abused by Catholic clergy in the Archdiocese of New York, now have legal options, but filing deadlines will apply, so do not delay in reaching out to us. Our lawyers have decades of experience in representing survivors of this clergy abuse in New York and nationwide. So if you do need a lawyer because you were abused by a priest at the Catholic clergy in New York, Contact them immediately. You need to contact them immediately.